Finding meaningful work poses unique challenges for people with mental and physical disabilities. That's where Work, Inc. comes into play. They offer life skills and job training for people who have these special challenges. Having grown up in the system, um, I've, I've actually witnessed the past, the present, and my hope is we can impact the future by learning from the past. The past was anybody with a disability growing up in the 30s, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, early 70s, they were thrown away. They were institutionalized, gone but not forgotten. Hundreds of thousands of individuals who could have dedicated a lot of intelligentsia to society, their lives were wasted. Individuals with disabilities should be integrated into society just like you, me, and everybody else. We should not treat folks with disabilities separate. What we're trying to influence at Work Inc. is we need to integrate them into mainstream employment just like anybody else looking for a job, regardless of their ability or disability. They should not be separated and treated as such. They should be approached just like anybody else looking for a job and they have certain abilities and talents that we have to cultivate and grow. And that challenges us because it's, um, it's one person, one job at a time. Uh, we are responsible for day-to-day -day operation like we as a total facility management. We do full maintenance, full uh, custodial and uh, landscaping. In, in the old days, so to speak, and the old days were as recently as seven years ago, you folks come into a center-based employment, a quote, a sheltered workshop, and maybe one person would be overseeing 20 to 25 folks doing fulfillment or doing manufacturing. Now it's one individual needing a job integrated into society, and that takes more resources. We need to get these people served because in Massachusetts and in this country, the unemployment rate for individuals with challenges or disabilities exceeds 70 percent and that's a abhorrent unacceptable number. Work Inc. began as you said more than 50 years ago 1965 around 51 years headquarters uh, Dorchester Massachusetts it's a big operation 396 employees most of them are full-time uh, in 2015 last year Work Inc. served 1,000 right. people you're a nonprofit you have other sources of revenue oh, sure. in the state and other places yeah we, uh, we get our money from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts through Department of Developmental Services Mass Rehab Commission Department of Transitional Assistance we do fundraising, we accept donations. In this country, unfortunately, there are still about 25 million individuals with disabilities on entitlements, and it's costing society a lot, a lot of resources to keep them on entitlements as opposed to them getting into the workforce. And unfortunately, even in 2000, 17, the unemployment rate amongst those individuals is still above 70%. So we are all supporting them to keep them out of work. And that's probably not a good public policy. I recently got a job near, near home. It was for a nursery school that I went to. I work with the three-year-olds and four-year-olds as a teacher's assistant. So I am working with the teacher I had I thought it would be a good idea to work as a teacher's assistant with young kids. I find employers who are going to match the skills of our people. So my job is to go out and find employers that will be interested in working with folks with disabilities or challenges to employment and find a match that's going to work for both sides. I was just asked to come back in the fall and still work as a teacher's assistant there. We live in Brockton, part of the shared living program provided by here in, at Work Inc. And the concept came and I had that spare room, so it's there. When I was young, I didn't know where I, where I live, but and now I know. I would say I'm technically inclined. I enjoy working on uh, complex machinery. I come from the business side of the world, um, not necessarily human services background. My background is in business and uh, to me it was about making it work and really making sure that it worked for businesses and looking at it from their perspective. Why, why should an employer hire someone with a disability to come to work for them? Um, personally, I believe they should give a chance because 
just because they might have a disability doesn't mean they wouldn't be good at the job you're asking them to do. Photo shoot happening in here. Give you a little tour. My first tattoo was um, this one that I'm showing you right here. It's a handicap sign that says pride. Even though I have some things that I don't like about my disability, there's a couple of things that I can do with having a disability. I can still be independent. <laughs> Obviously, I can still get tattoos. It kind of made me feel like I have to give pride to my disability. Personally, I wasn't good at English or math, but given the chance to work and look at and given the right setting, I've been able to learn a lot about the units, certain aspects of HVAC. No time for TV cameras on this factory floor in Dorchester. Bob Bishop and his employees at Work Inc., they've got orders to fill. Everyone here, careful, deliberate, and proud to produce. Made in America, made in Massachusetts. Are you ready for this? Disabilities. Deaf, blind, intellectually challenged, everyone here has something to contribute. Is, I see the list of uh, partners yes. behind you. We are taking what we know about the individual and then thinking about um, what kinds of employers might be a good match for the things that we've learned about this person. Here at Work Inc., we have people who are deaf and who um, can sign, so I do like the fact that I can communicate with other people. I don't feel that I am completely alone. They do such a fantastic job. We like to think of ourselves as sort of the future of customized, supported employment for people with complex lives. I am the career navigator and the team lead for the Pathways to Careers program. We, we really operate on a, a set of beliefs. Instead of using an assessment or an evaluation to look at an individual who'd like to go to work, we are instead focusing on the whole person. Um, what matters to this person? What motivates them? Um, what, what are they doing when they're really smiling? And what do they need to succeed? One of the things that we see oftentimes, and this is, all, uh, this is individuals with autism as well as neurotypical individuals, would be the enjoyment of looking at screens. So Angie, do you want to try having a turn? No hat, straight, eye caught. Tap, individuals that, well, that with autism oftentimes have much stronger skills in that particular area. Um, so we work off of so that is, uh, okay, as an know, area of, um, of strength. Here's what the bottles are going to look like. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and take the test. Are you ready? Yes. B. 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 A. All right, you finished, Angie. Let's take a look at how you did. Angie, you got 9 out of 10 correct for 90%. Yes. Nice job. So you were able to find the threat in 9 out of 10 questions correctly, whether it was a threat or not. So great job. You're making great progress. So discovery is a really empowering process. We are able to give the individuals this really one-on-one um, -on -one individualized attention that they may not normally get on a daily basis. And we are always focusing on competencies. We want to know what this person can do um, and what's important to them. It's all positive. It's tonight's Eye on Education. These are students transitioning out of high school. For a year, they go through extensive background checks in order to access government websites on government computers. And their designation, trusted agents of the U.S. military. Since the inception of the program, uh, we've had somewhere around $150 million allocated back to the government uh, from the work that they're doing. So they're really saving taxpayers a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It's a program made possible by Boston-based nonprofit Work, Inc. How much do they make an hour? They make twice the minimum wage, which is around $18.63. It's pretty good. That's pretty good for a high school student yeah. going to school making money. But it's so much more. Teacher David Antonelli says it gives his students skills that will help them build a future. It's really challenging at times, and mm -hmm. I, and my brain really likes challenges. Yeah. Yeah. And I really love this job. That's great. 
Work Inc. is the largest employer of individuals with disabilities in eastern Massachusetts. They tell us half the students who've gone through this program have found jobs because of it. It's 100% solution oriented. The first thing I say to my employers is I'm not looking for a charity job. I'm looking to place somebody that can do the work. And I'm looking to give you an employee that's going to be valuable, it's going to stay with your company. And honestly, I, I have individuals who are dressing better and walking taller and overall their life seems to be really impacted by this positive focus on them. We all had that together. Like, so. Success for me is um, the look on their face when you tell them I have your job starts on Monday. I mean, I cannot going to make me cry. I'm not even able to the do it. The growth that comes from pushing yourself to get better through getting through the difficulties. We placed um, a woman who has never worked outside in the community and she's, you know, uh, not young. She's uh, I, about the same age as me and she's never had a job outside the community. So jumping and the squealing and the excitement was worth every single second of the pain to get there. It takes a lot of work. It's a lot of time up front, but once you get the fit, the fits there and they're going to stay. Yeah, I mean, my, one of my favorite quotes is if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life, right? And that's what we all want. We're here, not just here for the job, we're here for our career. We're writing the future as we speak. Just because they have a disability doesn't mean they won't be able to do it.